No water and no answers from officials have left taps drier than Biltong in the Kalahari over the past few weeks. Certainly not a laughing matter. Now, parts of Johannesburg are still going through a dry spell and disgruntled residents are taking a stand, saying enough is enough. Now, Ian Sia reports that Klonium from Kulu is out there on the ground taking a look at why we have reached uh, this point. Klonium, hello to you, and I imagine it's what we normally see. The residents feel unheard, and this is the only way to get the attention of authorities. What are they telling you? Yeah, Gareth, so this is the third protest we are at this week. There were two on Monday that we were part of or that we uh, covered. And now this morning in South Hills, the two on Monday, one was in Brixton and one was in the south of Johannesburg in the Crown Gardens area, uh, Robertsham area. Now we are still in the south in the south of Johannesburg in the South Hills area. And again, there is a protest about water. The community of South Hills, this is not the first time that they have taken to the streets last month. Uh, they did block the R59 frustrated because since August some of them have not had water. Uh, we hear that again the same story of sometimes there's water some parts of the day but when they wake up there's no water and they don't understand what the reasons are or the explanations that are given. We know Joburg Water had a briefing yesterday and they said that some of the issues with the uh, water shortages and with the water supply challenges are because of increased consumption. They said that sometimes load shedding has also had an impact on that, that the pumping uh, capacity from uh, Rand water isn't great and so they're affected by all of those things. They talked also about uh, that infrastructure and maintenance also needs to be done and that needs to be looked into and so that's some of the reasons why they are experiencing challenges in supplying water to residents. I think ultimately from what we've been getting from speaking to people that the reasons that are given either by Joburg Water or Rand Water you know, ultimately, whatever the reasons are, people still just don't have water. And it's leading, I think, to more of these sorts of protests where residents need or want to be heard. Residents want answers from officials. Yesterday, we saw Mayor Kwamanda uh, in the Robertsham community speaking to members of the community there about their challenges and setting up this task team with the community. But, for, um, Gareth, I'm going to speak now to a community member, um, Gladwin. Just, first of all, just tell us the challenges around uh, accessing water um, in the area. It's been since August that you have not had water, right? Yes, so since August, um, I mean, I don't stay specifically in this section here, but I stay on the other side close to a school, and I have not had water consistently. I would have water for two days, and then you wake up in the morning, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, you find out there's no water. Now, how do we then go about washing in the mornings? Um, my daughter and some people have to go to work in the mornings, but then you wake up and there's no water. And then you find yourself in the middle of load shedding and you don't even have assistance or an urn or something to put up water. You can't even boil water because it's load shedding. So a lot of us are affected by this. I mean, I have to travel myself with my vehicle, having to go and fetch water uh, from my in-laws. Other people are not that privileged because in terms of the water tankers, we are privileged to even see some of the tankers traveling or going to places, um, standing in front of people's homes. In this particular section, water tankers are coming um, from time to time, but on the other side of South Hills, the greater side, close to Montana's in the upper areas, we hardly even see tankers. And where I stay, there is old age homes that are there. And how do the old people, how do they manage in terms of the, um, the in, in terms of sanitary way and so forth? How do they people manage? How do they manage in terms of health? I mean, they, you can't even see, you can't, you, you can't bear old people carrying big buckets of water or even small buckets of water by themselves. They can't manage. So how do we manage ourselves not having water for, what, almost two, going three months right now? It is just disastrous. We can't manage at all. And just in terms of the scenes that we are seeing here, and we saw um, scenes earlier in the week as well, uh, you expect that with people being frustrated, possibly that this is going to be more uh, common now? Yes, um, we've protested last time at the R59. We closed the R59. That was around about half past five in the mornings. Seps came and um, we had to move out of the area. But this is not the first time that we have tried to protest and our voices are not being heard. I don't think that we've actually been taken taken to light. Um, as much as we protest, it's just a matter of, okay, it's fine, they protest, so what's going to happen at the end of the day? We're not being listened to and nothing has been done about it. But I can tell you that this particular protest is just about the beginning of many more 
that are to come. This is not the only area that we're going to protest, but we're going to be closing any, we're going to close other areas as well, but we just cannot disclose of the particular areas at this point. And just, I know this is Ward 57, and Ward I think the councillor here is Faiza Chaim. Yes, just um, has there been a response? Have, we, have the community, has the community been able to maybe get hold of her today and just maybe in general explain what has been going on? In terms of a public meeting or a community meeting, we have not had a community meeting with the councillor herself. Uh, the few times when we have seen her is when she was in the media briefing and at the times when the community wants to gather and have a set meeting with her, then she is she's just missing. But we've never had an actual set meeting at the community hall with her and with the relevant people here within the area. I know there is a meeting that is held somewhere um, today at 2 o'clock. I'm not so certain of, of the particular area, but in terms of the WhatsApp groups that we have, um, they is said that there is a meeting being held. We don't know where it is and who's going to be there. We as a community feel that our voices need to be heard by the mayor as well as our, the councillors here within our area, not outside of the area, but here within the area, so that we as a community of South Hills, we can raise our voices as well as our concerns and our requests. Okay, thank you so much, um, Dadun. So uh, we are hearing the frustration of members of the community because of their water supply challenges that have been going on for a while. And just to my left, there is a community meeting that is happening amongst the members of this development here. Uh, guys, I don't know if we have time. We can try and listen into what they're saying. But basically, they've been here since this morning, since around half past five or six this morning. And this development here on our left uh, does not have water, does not have water, and so there have been issues with that. So I'm going to try and see if we can listen, and I don't know if we have enough time to do that, um, Gareth. So I think they are just going to wait and see if they can get hold of the councillor, uh, Tammy, and yeah, and then I think they will take it from there. They had been down the road uh, where they blocked off the intersection of about four roads there. Uh, the police did come in and close off that road, and now they have moved up here. So this whole road is closed, and I don't know how much longer they will be here, but we'll have to see and just wait and see what happens with them. Shoni, thank you so much uh, for that update. We'll continue, you know, staying with you throughout the course of the day and seeing how uh, that unfolds as they try also, guys, to get hold of the councillor.